Okay, so this is exciting. We uh, down with Mike. <laughs> Afternoon. Afternoon. And we are going to be uh, we're looking at this Himalayan lovingly because it's got the bike trek camshaft on it. Tech cam. The tech cam yeah. camshaft. So I'm just going to take it for a little ride. My GoPro is not working, so it'll just have to be a before uh, and after video. So Mike, the, so this has got the camshaft on it. It's got tech cam, uh, DNA air filter. Uh, a booster plug, iridium spark plug, and Electrotech exhaust. Other than that, it's completely standard. But well, you did all those other bits, and then the, the, it was the cam la that came last. Yeah, the cam, the cam came last. The the I bought it with the exhaust and the air filter on it, but it felt like it was running very very lean. So I put a booster plug on it, and that that sorted that out. Um, the cam has has really made it far more tractable. Um, it pulls from two and a half thousand, whereas before it, was, it, it kind of stuttered quite a lot. Um, and it pulls cleanly throughout the web range, and if, even on standard gearing, it feels much, much happier at, high, at higher speeds. And it's not ruined low down fuel no, in or anything like that. Not. No, okay. And, and fuel consumption as well is is possibly better than it used to be. Okay. Um, I've done about six hundred miles on it now. I've had uh, two tank fulls. And they've been 87 and 90 miles to the gallon. Okay. Which is Good. marginally better than it was yeah. before. Uh, easy to fit? Um, it took me two hours. It's, it's um, you know, as someone who's not done it before, two hours is, is, is probably about right. If you've done it before, then you could do it in an hour easily. Uh, but very straightforward. Um, if you're handy with spanners, absolutely fine. You just need a low value torque wrench, really, and that's, that's yeah. it. And there's, so there's the option of that one or the Hitchcock's ones, which is... Yeah, the Hitchcock's one um, was sold out very, very quickly. Um, apparently has similar results to this one. Um, the Hitchcock's one apparently has, it has some, some metal ground away from the base circle, so it makes it a slightly higher lift. This one is, is, uh, is built from, from scratch, from, from billet, um, and they've, they've, it, they've increased the overlap and the lift on it, so... The, the big difference is that the Hitchcock one um, being uh, derived from a standard cam retains the decompressor for starting. This one doesn't. Um, this, I've not found any disadvantage with that at all. It's, um, it starts straight away, no hesitation from cold. Once in a while it's hesitated a little bit when it's, when it's hot, but always starts, no problem. All right. All right, I'll take it for a spin. If you could yeah. just keep filming okay. while I ride up and then press obviously stop when I... Well then, at least go clear it, and then just film as when when I come back in, and we'll, I'll see okay. if it's made any. If, because <laughs> I, I mean I'm a skeptic with these sort of things. Yeah, you know I always think it's a, like twenty percent power. Clay rise is a big claim, isn't it? That? But 20% of not very much is not very much, isn't it? Really, well, it's, it's still 20% and not very much. It's going much, from, from 24 to around about 29, uh, 30. I, I mean, because of the Hitchcock's kit, only added four brake, and that was that's like 1500 quid by the time you're done. Yeah, so to get the same with 200 quid is, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think? You know what I think? Oh, oh. Is it a wheelie? <laughs> It's difficult to keep it down. <laughs> okay, so just pulled up on the bike. I did about uh, 10 miles or so, Mark, I would have thought. I went up just to so B, B roads and then went out to the main road to Ilfracombe just to open it up a bit. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? It's, it's definitely, mm. I think from the outset, I would say it's the nicest ride in Himalayan I've, I've ridden in terms of smoothness, pickup, right. cleanliness. <laughs> Brilliant. What, what did I tell you? What I know. Like all along. Well, it, I guess you start thinking, well, what's making the difference? And, and I suppose mm. like the booster plug is going to make a little bit of a difference. The iridium plug, iridium plug is going to make a bit of a difference to how it, it runs low down. But I think what you find, it's got surge, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, it's got immediate s surge on the throttle. Got, even just on these lanes, you can, it's got pickup, whereas the other one, the other bike would pick up and it would accelerate, but it doesn't do it. It doesn't pick up quite as clean. It doesn't pick up quite as fast. So it's hard to say whether it's actually four brake horsepower or 20% more powerful, but it definitely feels... It's torque. Torque. Low down, low down torque. It's stacked more, I think. Um, and it's smoother. 
Um, and it, it makes overtaking a possibility rather than just sitting behind it. So, because I think he's got more top end. When you when you get it up onto, so I pulled it on, on the main road. I pulled um, I pulled it out first gear, second gear, third gear, quickly up to sixty, mm. and then from sixty onwards, you've got you still got some roll on power, taking yeah. up to seventy. Yeah. Uh, whereas the other bike would roll on to 70, but you'd need... I, I kind of think of it, it's five miles an hour faster everywhere. Yeah. I, yeah. That's how I think of it. Well, I think if, you, if you look at the, um, the dyno charts that are, that are on the tech, tech website, it, it effectively shifts the power and the torque down a thousand revs. Yeah. So you, if, if, what it used to be five and a half thousand is now four and a half thousand. So it's, it's much, much... It's a much lazier engine, much more like an old, an old single. It is, but it's got it's got more slightly more invigorating. It, it makes yeah. you want to give it a little bit yeah. more, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it, it can be ridden like a sporting single, I think. And it, you yeah. Know, with the standard Himalayan, you can't. It, no. It'll plod. I mean, it's a good bike, but it, it's a plodder. But this this gives it a lot more room. Yeah, I, I think for me, you know, if if the Himalayan was already underwhelming, I'm not, you know, it's not transformed it into say a DRZ 400 type yeah. engine, but it's definitely giving it more. More get up and go, yeah. and I think it's the best performance enhancement I've tried on on one. Good. Um, <laughs> place your order here. Yeah, place your order here. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I think what's good about it, two hundred quid, and I was thinking about it. The, you know, the Hitchcock's big ball kit is probably good. It's probably really good, but spending f- it's yeah, thousand plan plus clutch pl- springs and then the Powertronic. Yeah. You know, by the time you've done, you spent a lot of money and you've gained what you're gaining effectively with this. And I think this is what people were waiting for, a slightly easy and cheap solution to that like, dullness on the Himalayan throttle. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not surprised it's been popular. Um, and I think it'll, I think the problem for them, it'll be even more popular. I think they struggle struggled to yeah. turn out enough units, really. Yeah, it's good, that. Yeah. And it actually runs really... I just, I just love how clean it runs. There's no hiccup in it, it idles nicely, yeah. it picks up nicely. Yeah. Still got Mr. Clocks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just need to fix the clocks on it. But actually, just watching, I think your, your speedo is a bit stuttery, isn't it? Is it, yeah. is it me? It's almost like it'd go up and then whoop a bit. I, I actually yeah. wondered if you'd just tweak your speedo rather than that. <laughs> but no, I think. To see the, you can see the, the, the acceleration, the needle moving far quicker than it, and it would, would used to. And, and to be honest, there were, there were short straights where you'd be up to 50 far, I would say actually far quicker than you would on a standard bike. Well, what I find is that this, the situations on a, on a standard Himalayan one, you, you've definitely changed out the torque. On this one, you just open the throttle and yeah. the torque carries it through. So it's, and, and the hills around North Devon, there's you know, just incredible hills. I'm finding it's much, much easier. Yeah. Places like Countersbury Hill out, out of um, Lindner, you know, it just, it's, it's a breeze, you know, it, it just does it. I think the only thing I'd, be t- tr- I'd try is without the Lex Tech. I'd j- try it with a standard, because yeah. still, I'm still not personally a fan of that, uh, yeah. the noise of it. I, I kind of like the subtlety of, of the, um, the yeah. standard exhaust. And it'd be interesting to, because I had a Lex Tech uh, on the standard bike, and I kind of, Felt it made it. Um, I, it didn't, I didn't like the old changes it made to the engine. I, yeah. It, uh, so I'd be keen to try the cam on a stock bike. Yeah. It's it's. Um, I'm when I got it. it I mean, obviously, anything you do to it, the intake or the exhaust, makes the mixture lean, and the, the power booster sorted that yeah. out quite dramatically. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd love to try a standard cam, but I don't have one, unfortunately. Um, but it, I mean, it goes. It, it, it works for me. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. I actually think the power booster is probably one of the good things. Yeah. Uh, it, the benefit of that Powertronic, as much as I didn't think it made much difference to the power, it made it run cooler. And for going across America or something like that, when the heat, when there was a lot of heat, the stock bike. Hey, up! Just in time, a rival. The competition arrives. I don't know who it is. Howdy. Hello. You all right? Where are you heading? Legally back to Bristol. Back to Bristol. It's a day of visitors today. I've had visitors all day. Last thing I would say, Mike, that that if anybody's looking for a tank bag, that's a great tank bag, that isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Magnetic, and it actually does stick to the tank. Yeah. Yeah. So, right, we'll see who this chap is.
Hi there, I just want to do a quick add-on to that video, uh, having slept on it and, and had a think about it. Um, in conclusion, I think it did make a, quite a big difference, really. Uh, I think the difference is similar to riding the CRF 250 Rally and then riding the CRF 300 Rally. I think that's the difference. I think it, it does feel 10%, 15% stronger, broadier, quicker. Uh, uh, and therefore it will accelerate. I think you'll get past cars easier. I'm just trying to think when I went across America and it struggled up the hills in Colorado, I didn't think it'd have those problems. Uh, coming over the Alps, I think it wouldn't have the issue of you know struggling struggling up some of the hills and out of some of the corners. So I think in a way it's made the bike far more rideable in all round conditions. So I think for 200 pound, it's a very nice, easy upgrade. And what I like about it, it's a, it's a simple mechanical upgrade that doesn't take a lot too much effort, it seems an easy thing to fix. Uh, where I didn't like the Powertronic that I tried a year or so ago is that there are a lot of connectors in that and I think to me that's adding weaknesses to what is otherwise a reliable bike. This being a man mechanical sort of installation, I think it should be robust. You know, long term does it change the reliability of the engine over 40,000 miles? I think we'll never, we'll not quite uh, know that. So. Um, I just wanted to say, yeah, it did, did work. Will I fit one to my own bike? I don't know. I kind of always accepted the Himalayan for what it is. And in a way, my, the best Himalayan is the, ch is the cheapest, most bog standard one. So I don't think I'll be rushing it out to uh, fit one. But if one came away, I probably I probably would. I think the difficult is going to be getting older stock. Because I think every man and his dog uh, wants four brake horsepower on his Himalayan. So, uh, yeah. So in conclusion... If, I think if you're interested, you're not going to be disappointed. If you're happy with the Himalayan as it is, leave it as it is. And it's pretty much as simple as that. All right, cheers, bye.